Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at InstaWP. This is a great tool for you to spin up instant, quite literally, <laughs> WordPress sandboxes right in your web browser to test and play with WordPress or develop and share other sort of development environments with your team or your customers. Uh, InstaWP is getting really, really good. I've been using it here on the channel every time I spin up a new environment so that I can show plugins or themes or different WordPress highlights for you. You can jump in. Like if you wanted to test WordPress 6.2 uh, when the certain beta release is out or an alpha release is out, you can do that with InstaWP. You can do a whole heck of a lot more. It's like web hosting, except it's meant for temporary websites. Uh, it's not meant to host your client's website on, but maybe they'll do that in the future. Um, I know now at my new job at Gravity Forms, we use it to demo Gravity Forms plugin to our potential customers. And maybe that's a show, uh, use case for you in the future if you're selling uh, WordPress themes and plugins. But if you're a developer, an agency, an educator, a content creator, InstaWP hits a lot of the check marks that we need to get WordPress environments up fast and easy because easy is what I really want. I don't want to set up these local environments where I have to do all these dependency packages, get gulp and otherwise. It's not something that I'm really interested in doing and InstaWP makes it super, super easy to spin up these sites and start testing WordPress stuff. Okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into some of the key ways that you can use InstaWP for your next WordPress project. Taking a look at the features, we'll see sites, templates, configuration tools, deployments, and integrations. I'm not gonna get into all of these, but InstaWP is fantastic for those of you who are developers and wanna connect up to uh, your Git deployment workflow, or you're building out many different flavors of sites, you can do things like templates and have certain plugins and themes and environments ready to go at a click of a button. So if you wanna start a WooCommerce store that you always offer your customers or a blog that you always use with your customers, and you might have like ACF plugin on one uh, environment, you might have obviously WooCommerce and all the extensions uh, available for it on another environment, and you can just click and start those to start developing and showcasing your work, especially to your client, makes it really easy uh, for you to do that. So I'm in my account. This is just a demo free account. You can see that I have a uh, InstaWP instance already loaded up here. Time to expire, because remember these sites are built to expire. You're only using them temporarily. If you're getting one of the paid plans, you'll have more time and you can save these sites, especially if you're involved with some longer term development. Uh, disk usage and tags, so we can just add tags to our environment. We can just say demo site add that there and that'll allow you to sort of uh, maybe tag your customers, tag your different environments that you have or the different demo sites um, that you need. All right, so we'll add a new site to InstaWP, show you how easy that is. We'll click on add new. And then on this modal, we have a few options starting from the top. You can start from scratch, which is what we'll do today. Um, you can select from a template if you have a template that's already configured. And then they have the store coming soon. Uh, really interested to see what that's all about. Uh, when that rolls out. Down the bottom, you can start to change the sort of instance type. So I'm going to go with 6.2 beta 3. So again, like I mentioned before, this is a fantastic way to try new versions of WordPress for free. So you know what's coming uh, without having to you know, install it all yourself. I can change the PHP version if I want, but we're just going to leave that at 7.4. And I can add a site, uh, site name here. So I'll just say Matt's site. And then we'll click on create site. So the installation progress started, it happened uh, to put it down below, oh, right here, sorry. Um, and it's gonna start to install uh, all of the stuff that it needs to load up a WordPress website. So the website is ready. It says your new WordPress website is ready. It gives you the login credentials there. You can go right to the database editor, code editor. You can view logs, which is really cool. Obviously, um, no one has really accessed this site and there's nothing really happening with it, but you can start to see how great this is for developers um, as you start testing your site. So you might be telling your client to go check something out. They might be running it into an issue. Uh, when they're looking at it, you can quickly get to the logs, which I think is crucial for any kind of freelance uh, or you know, agency that you know is developing websites for customers. Clicking the magic login link will bring us to the website just like you saw before, and this is going to be version 6.2. You still have access to all of the plugins um, that you would need to uh, install from WordPress.org. You can go and upload your own if you wish. Same thing with themes and plugins, and everything operates the same way. It is a true hosted instance of WordPress. 
Um, but that is just temporary, right? These are sites that, again, are made to expire or develop on, depending on which plan uh, you have with InstaWP. I want to turn the attention over to the templates because I think this is really powerful. If you were to install uh, a certain set of plugins, themes, adding content to this particular instance that we created, you can go to the templates section of InstaWP, click on add template, and then select, let's say, Matt's site as the instance you'd like to um, as you'd like to turn into a template. And then you might say, this is our perfect demo site. Uh, template type private or shared. You could share this with others if you'd like for them to use it on the InstaWP network. Uh, and then we're just gonna hit save right here. And that'll add the template. So every time you boot up a new site from uh, the dashboard of InstaWP, let's just actually make sure that finishes, it says it's ready. So when I go to add a new site, I can go to the templates and then choose that template. So everything I had installed at the time uh, that I clicked on create a template out of this will turn that instance into a template so I can deploy those really quick. That's awesome, right? So if you want to add, you know, Gravity Forms plugin, a particular uh, Gutenberg ready theme and do some customizations and use that as a way to talk to your clients and say, hey, demo this small business website. This is how we build websites. This is how you interact with it. I think it's fantastic, um, and it's a no-brainer for agencies and freelancers to really start leveraging the power of templates in their workflow. And you know, I know a lot of you listening to this are developers and freelancers, but also in the sales process, the pre-sales process, being able to demo WordPress quickly, efficiently with your stuff, and you're not worrying about paying for that hosting uh, or absorbent fees for hosting, you can use something like InstaWP. Uh, to connect all that stuff up. Now we'll take a look at configurations. This is what I really like about InstaWP as well. They're really giving you this way to, again, templatize or framework these WordPress websites so that you have different options and you can spin up different environments um, for different contexts that you might be working on in your business. So this is just the default configuration, which is going to be uh, the most recent stable version of WordPress and stable version of uh, PHP, but you can fine tune this stuff and create different configurations so that you can boot these up in you know different flavors whenever you wanna test out certain things. And this stuff is pretty detailed. Obviously I'm not a developer, uh, but you can come in and play with the different uh, PHP variables and you can do some fine tuning to WordPress like pre-installing plugins, um, having different things enabled in your WP config file, and then even set up faker posts and pages, tags, categories. Uh, this is really cool. Uh, you can save these environments and spin the, or these configurations and spin them up for every environment that, uh, that you go to. If you are a developer, you can go to the deployment section and configure your deployments uh, to go to a repo, uh, a particular branch and destination folder. Uh, I'm not gonna configure this stuff because I don't have any of that, but just know that it, it is available um, if this is important to you. There is an integrations section here as well. I don't know how many installations they actually have. There could be more on the paid tiers. Um, there, By default, you can have this uh, MailChimp integration, which will allow you to configure MailChimp with all of these sites that get deployed. I'm sure there'll be more integrations in the future, um, but if there is one, you can certainly reach out to them. You can always click on Vicus's uh, picture right down here and start chatting with them and say, hey, give me some more uh, integrations or different apps. And lastly, you could pull up the mega menu, see all of the different pages that we've looked at and some others that we haven't looked at. And then you can get access to other material, other content, um, contact them, the community tab to read more about InstaWP. I uh, really like the layout. There's nothing really confusing or, uh, you know, overburdening, or overburdening me, you know, with this dashboard. Very clean, very easy to use. Um, and I don't think many of us, even if you're new to WordPress, are going to get lost in the InstaWP dashboard. Okay, let's wrap it up. Looking at price starts for free. So like I said, you can try three sites for free. They last up to 48 hours. Great way to test and play with WordPress. In fact, I sent InstaWP to a friend the other day to let them test out WordPress. They wanted to get into WordPress and immediately I started thinking, okay, now they got to go get a domain. They got to get some hosting. They have to set that up and go through the whole process. And then I think, wait a minute. No, I can just send folks to InstaWP and they can immediately play with it without signing up with anything, without going to a web host. 
uh, for free, and that's fantastic. And the rest of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. I think if you're a freelancer or an agency, many of you are going to land on the professional plan for $29 a month. You can actually save a little bit of money if you go to yearly. You can save two months right there for $290 for the year. If you are an agency and you need more stuff, more team members, permanent sites, active sites, more storage space and templates, uh, 790 for the year is not that lo- not a lot of money uh, to incorporate a, gr- a great workflow uh, for your uh, developers, for your sales folks, for your project managers, for your customers to really just get into WordPress without a lot of uh, overhead and a lot of expense. That's it for today's video. I hope you like InstaWP. Are you already using InstaWP? Have I jogged some thoughts into using this software for your agency, your practice, your content writing? Are you making videos like me? (laughs) Check out InstaWP at instawp.com. Use my link below. If you do plan on signing up, helps me get a little bit of digital coffee. Make about five bucks or so if you do sign up. Really helps support the channel. That's it. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. And we'll see you in the next video.